Hey, it's old ALJ with Adventures in Homebrewing. Today, we're gonna to be talking a little bit about regulators. Seems we get quite a few questions on how to attach them, how to adjust them, and exactly how do they work. So what we're gonna work with today is our Taprite 742 regulator. It has this knob on the front of it. This knob pops in and out. Popping it in locks it, it will not turn. So once you set your pressure, you can lock it into place. When you're adjusting your pressure, you're gonna pull it out. Turn it counterclockwise to go down in pressure. Turn it clockwise to go up in pressure. You have two separate gauges on your regulator. The high pressure gauge is actually for measuring inert gases. It does measure pressure of gas, but it doesn't measure the weight. CO2 is measured by weight. So you have a five pound CO2 tank or a 10 pound CO2 tank. This gauge is not gonna show the weight of your CO2 tank. When they get cold, the gauge is gonna drop. When they get hot, the gauge is going to go up. What it's really gonna tell you is when you're getting close to an empty tank. The next gauge is your low pressure gauge. The low pressure gauge is the important one. You're gonna be serving somewhere between eight, 10, 12, 25, or even 30 pounds of pressure based on what you're doing. 30 pounds may be used for carbonating a keg. 25 may be used in a jockey box. Eight, 10, or 12 pounds might be for dispensing a keg. If you go lower than what you've adjusted to, and that keg has more pressure on it, there is a pressure release valve in this regulator, so don't be concerned if you hear gas coming out of the body of the regulator. That is typical on this style. Next thing that you'll see on this is a shutoff. You have an on in the down position and an off in the up position. So basically, when you want your CO2 flowing, turn it on. If you're checking for leaks in the pressure gauge or at the stem, you would shut it off. With the dual body regulators, when they're attached to your CO2 tank, you will see that the gauge is not protected. If this tank falls, it will break your gauge. What I recommend is what's called a gauge guard. The gauge guards for the tap right regulators are pretty simple to assemble. Basically, you'll set your regulator into the gauge guard. You'll go ahead, drop a nut in there. Once it's screwed on there, you will want to use a wrench to tighten it. Once you have that, if it falls over, you'll notice that it is protected. With regulators, depending on the type you have, you may need some type of washer between your CO2 tank and your regulator. We do have a few handy washers that are available to you if you don't have one on your regulator. First one is just the simple white nylon. Fits directly in between your regulator and your CO2 tank. Another great option is the CO2 stop leak. It's a washer on a fitting You'll use an Allen wrench to thread this directly into the valve body of the CO2 tank. Now there's no need for a washer. It's permanent, it's there. They're about five bucks, good product to have. The beauty of the regulators that we carry is that they already have a washer built into it. I really like that. You don't have to worry about losing it. You don't have to worry about purchasing an extra item. Basically it's there and it works. To attach your regulator, you will put the nut onto the CO2 tank, thread it on hand tight, straighten out the regulator, and that last quarter turn or so should be done with a wrench. That should be very tight, locks into place. Once you've attached your regulator, go ahead and shut off the ductbill. You always wanna make sure that your low pressure gauge is at zero. If it's not, pull it out, lower it down to zero. If you don't do that, what can happen if you left this up to 30 pounds of pressure last time you used it, and you reattach it, it will shoot 30 pounds of pressure into that gauge and likely break the gauge. So always counterclockwise before attaching. Once you know you're safe counterclockwise, go ahead and turn on your tank. Listen for leaks. Adjust to the pressure in which you want to serve at. And you're ready to rock.